We are the Wayward Wags and we travel full time with a bearded dragon. The ability to travel with our bearded dragon is now being threatened because of politics and we need your help. This is Scout. Scout likes to travel with us on the road. But like I said, because of politics, he may not be able to for very long. But you can help. Our beloved bearded dragon scout is in danger. Yes. We just learned about this new amendment to what is called the Lacey Act. It has already passed the House of Representatives on February 4th. It's now headed to the Senate. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't know what day it's going to hit the Senate, but it basically uh, it's this amendment that's buried in this bill that's thousands of pages long. So none of the lawmakers are reading the whole thing and it's kind of just jammed in there. Well, basically it would restrict the movement of all non-domestic and exotic pets of any kind mm -hmm. across any state lines in the United States. Yes. Up to and including our scout. Yes. Which is devastating for us. We've been on the road now for almost three years with Scout traveling. You can probably hear him in the background running around down here. He loves the RV life. He loves being free. He loves being out. He has free range in our RV. Yep. Uh, I just, man, I can't imagine not being able to take Scout with us anymore. No. Can't even. Uh, this is so crazy. Um, it's stupid that we have nothing else to fight in Congress. Yeah. <laughs> in Senate. Well, nothing better to do than to ban Hi, buddy. A lizard. There he is. <laughs> um, and this doesn't just impact us. I mean, we're being a little selfish about it because Look. of the impact it causes on us. Yeah. But it's not just us. I mean, this would devastate small businesses that are centered around the trade and conservation of exotic animals. Yes. Um, so when I say domestic, so I say like dogs, cats, cats. any kind of agricultural or, or yeah. traditional farm animals would still be able to travel across state lines. But anything like you know reptiles, snakes, lizards, scorpions, parrots. Parrots, fish, I mean, it, turtles, all kinds of animals. Uh, there is going to be a white list that comes out that's going to say what you're allowed to travel with, but it has to be very specific to those species. And if it's not listed specifically, you cannot travel across state lines with that animal. And I don't think they're going to get too in depth with it. Mm -mm. I mean, I think it's going to be us only a few on this list. Yeah. They're not going to do their research to figure out which animals are not invasive yeah uh, and they're just gonna kind of blanket this whole thing mm -hmm. and not allow these animals to travel across state yeah. lines this is gonna impact military families yeah. who travel with non-traditional animals yeah well just moving in general if you're moving from one state to another if you have something other than a cat and a dog it's not gonna be able to go yeah and what the lawmakers aren't thinking about it's gonna restrict vet care there are people that live on borders of states who get their vet care across state lines yeah. because the next closest vet in their own state may be hours away or maybe not that good of a vet. So they want to go to the vet that they want to go see. Um, it's going to impact educational programs, conservation mm -hmm. programs. It could even impact zoos. Yes. Um, I mean, they're not thinking about any of this stuff. They're At not, least it doesn't seem like they are. Yeah. And so for those of you who, who know nothing about bearded dragons, we're, we can only speak to that. We can't speak about these other species, but yeah. we can speak to bearded dragons. And this guy is, is harmless. not causing anybody <laughs> any harm. He is our pet. He's, he's our friend. And he's not a threat if, God forbid, he were to get loose. Yeah. He is not a threat he's not to an invasive any species. other species out there. Chances are he's not going to find another bearded dragon <laughs> out there to mate with. And then they're going to make more. And even if they did, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. They eat bugs. But he's our friend. He's our family. You yeah. know, we love him. Um, and people don't understand that even reptiles like lizards have personalities. Yes, they do. I mean, he is <laughs> affectionate. Yep. He, he'll give you kisses. Kisses. He'll snuggle with you. He knows his name. He gets angry at the stuff <laughs> when he sees it outside. I mean, he gets, I mean, he just has its own personality. This is our second bearded dragon. And our other bearded dragon had a totally so different different. personality. Yeah. I mean, they're no different than dogs and cats when it comes to personality wise. And people grow accustomed to having these animals. They grow attached to having these animals. 
uh, it would be devastating if we couldn't take Scout with us along the way. I feel like this is a knee-jerk reaction um, yeah. that someone raised an issue about mm -hmm. and didn't think through the total impact of it. Yeah, uh, they were thinking about maybe how it impacted them specifically yeah. or their specific area because there are invasive species of fish and birds, and if they get out, they can impact environmental and farm and yes. agriculture. So I get that, but that needs to be very specific. Yes. You can't just throw a exactly. blanket over this and say no one gets to take animals across state yeah. lines anymore. Um, and I'm all for making things harder. Make it harder for me to have him. I don't care. Not opposed. I mean, make it an expensive permit. I'll buy it. Yeah, we will do you whatever know? is required of us to make sure that we are following the rules yeah. and and safely uh, accommodating our pet without it, it impacting others yeah. and the safety of others. We're totally uh, fine with that. Mm -hmm. um, if this does get passed, um, we have some hard decisions to make. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do. I seriously don't know what we're gonna do. Yes, I could not tell you right now, gun to head, what I would do. There's only three options. There's three? There's three options. Option A, not smart, risk it. Oh, well, yeah. Just break the that's, law that's and do it anyway, option. which you you uh, risk fines. And, and jail. even jail time. Yes. For bringing uh, animals across state line if they're not authorized. So risking it, no, even no. though it's an option, not really an option. No. Uh, option number two, just stop traveling. Yeah. And settle down into whatever state we want to stay in and stay there. And then we can travel from time to time and leave Scout with someone in that state. And option three is to no longer have Scout. To leave Scout with family or and friends or somewhere. Neither option is a good option. No. It's terrible to think about. I just really hope that this doesn't pass. And shouldn't be put in a position to make those decisions either. It's terrible. Terrible. Because he's young. Us. So we're, we're, by saying we keep him and we stop traveling, well, that's a good another six to eight years yeah, scout on only, average for what he's got left. That's a long time to not yeah. leave a state. Scout's only three years old, and their life expectancy is 10 to 12 years in yeah. captivity. So, yeah, like you said, that's a long, long time to either not travel or to give him up. And if you give up your pet, it's so confusing for them. Yes. And I know people say, well, it's just a lizard, but not to us. It's not just a lizard to us. It's our family. It's our pet. Oh, uh, yeah. Nobody's going to love him like I love him. No, and no one's going <laughs> to be able to give him the lifestyle that he's we are able pampered. to give him. Yeah. I mean, he's free range in the RV all day. He can do whatever he wants. We've set up special accommodations in the RV so that yeah. he is, can safely move in and around the RV. Um, we're here with him almost all day, every day. So he's used to being interacted with humans yeah. all the time. And just to kind of throw them into a cage and say, enjoy the rest of your eight years in a okay. confined space. Once an animal gets used to having freedom. It's hard to take that away. Yeah, it's hard, man. So I don't, I don't even know. But we can tell you how you can help. Uh, how you can help is you can write your senator. We wrote our senators mm -hmm. a letter the other day. Um, and we're going to make it really easy for you. We've done all the hard work. Uh, yeah. There's a link in the description below. All you have to do is click on that. Uh, click on the drop down menu for your state, find your senator, uh, it has a, a, a section there where you can send them an email. Mm -hmm. We've even included in the description a sample letter, which all you have to do is copy and paste that into the email on that website. You know, put your information on there, your name, address, phone number, and then send that off to your senator because it's really not about the content of the letter because you put on the subject line, you know, Lacey Act amendment or disagree with or yeah. disapprove of uh, amendment to the Lacey Act, and they'll already know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's not really about the content, it's about the volume. This is quantity yeah. over it's a, quality. It's about right? how <laughs> many people are complaining about this, and if enough people complain to their senators, mm -hmm. if they think that this is going to impact them getting reelected, <laughs> they'll vote against it yeah so no. we have to get it to a point to where it's going to be uncomfortable for them or will it, at least they have to look into it and go man there's a lot of people complaining about this let me go read this part of this bill mm -hmm. and see if it makes sense and then that way they can bring it to the floor of the senate and say look the rest of this 3,000 pages of this bill makes sense but this yes. part done we need to take this out or re-amend it or yes. whatever and get it right so we don't impact all of these people there are people who their livelihood, their living, 
that's all they know is breeding and selling exotic animals, moving across state lines to go to animal shows. And and those true legit people that breed I mean, they are so passionate about what they do. They are, and they're all about conservation. They're all about taking care of the animals. Yeah. I mean, there are animals on the endangered species list right now that require a mate to be moved across state lines so they can breed with the other one so that they can continue that species. There yeah. are species that will die off if this bill is passed. Yeah. These are the things that these politicians are not thinking about. So we need your help to help us save scout and to save all the rest of the people that we would be impacted by this yeah um man i really don't know what else to say about it other than i just if it if it passes i really don't know no what we're gonna do it will be a painstaking year to figure it out yeah so we need your help we need it desperately um please share this video we don't ask you to do that very often no we don't but share this video with anybody who you think would even come close to caring at all about this and have them uh write their senator we made it as easy as we can make it uh you have to do a little bit of work i'm sorry about that but um yeah we don't ask for your help very often but we need it now yes so we appreciate that and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero uh we appreciate you watching Please help us and help Scout. And we thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye.